Hey folks, welcome to Bullpens Gaming Den. Today we're going to unbox the game Korra, Rise of an Empire, uh, designed by, and it's an interesting name, Headquarter uh, Simulation Game Club. So it looks like it's not exactly one individual, but rather maybe a group of uh, uh, folks. And from what I understand, it's a game that originally came out in Japan. So it's basically by a development team that's based out of Japan. Uh, and there was a print run there, uh, had a bit of popularity and whatnot, uh, but of course never went mainstream the same way. Uh, but now we have Alo picking up the license for this game and publishing it, giving it a fresh new coat of paint and bringing it out as part of their ILO export line, which if I'm not mistaken is a new line that they're starting under their brand. So uh, I'm interested to try it out. It definitely seems like a style of game that I would uh, enjoy myself. Uh, there should be enough meat to it, uh, I should say. Uh, and as we can see, it's designed for two to four players, expected to be played in roughly 75 minutes. Artwork on the front is pleasing enough uh, without being exceptional. It's uh, I, I think it works. I think it looks nice and good. So all of that is good stuff. And in the back, you can basically see uh, an overview of the kind of components you can expect to see in the box itself. So, you know, you're going to have a game board, a bunch of tokens, individual player boards, cards, uh, and whatnot. So we'll crack into it and see what's inside and uh, whether the game, uh, whether the production quality is something that you can look forward to should you pick one of these up yourself. So let's start by taking the shrink off. And uh, with that, uh, Again, no, the front of the box is attractive enough. I, I do like it. I don't want to give the impression that I don't. Uh, but it is pretty standard Euro-y, uh, uh, so to speak. Uh, inside of the lid is pretty standard. The first thing that we get to see is a rule book. And let's see what we have in here. So we have components and setup. Uh, looks to be numbered, so that's good. Uh, prepare the rest of the components as follows. So setup is a bit involved. By the look of things uh, then we have gameplay uh, you, you will have event announcement taxation something to do with dice actions progress event resolution achievements benefits end of the game final scoring and then on the very back end uh, gives you a quick bit of explanation of some of the cards uh, possibly that you can have in the game itself. So you'll have politics cards and event cards and gives you a quick overview of what some of these may do with some flavor text up top here. So uh, generally speaking, uh, artwork and layout seems pleasing enough. It definitely is visually attractive and hopefully it's easy to get into as well. But uh, judging by some like the pages that we went through, it looks like there's going to be a bit of involvement uh for you to do that but if that's the kind of game you like then hopefully this should be up your alley it certainly seems to be up mine now here we have uh the cardboards uh and these are popping off pretty easily so maybe let's just look at one of these uh first and i think these are going to be uh on your player board so it's double-sided you get a description of the civilization you're possibly playing with and then on the other side some special abilities and if i'm not mistaken these punch out as well so this is so that's uh hopefully functionally helpful uh will help you keep track of things and whatnot so thickness on the cardboard yeah. is uh let's see if you guys can make it out or not it is not bad there we go uh well what's was focused well enough for a second and then it just disappeared but thickness is all right that's not too bad uh and we get thebes we get sparta athens and corinth uh maltus miletus olympia argos so you have more than four options so you can uh, pick between them uh if you have uh, multiple players these look like coins in the game uh and these are large enough size they're not quite chunky but the thickness is uh all right they should uh, work for multiple playthroughs so that's not bad uh, we get some of these styles which have uh print on the back but not really functional text or anything uh and again without knowing the rules i'm not really sure what these do uh, but they're there there's more of these coin tokens these look like silver the others were possibly i assume golden or gold uh, I don't know what these are, maybe points markers, but 90 is a bit of an odd one to have. 
uh, we'll figure that out. And yeah, so we have these. We have more tiles over here. And they have different colors on the back, so I'm, I'm sure that that means something. Uh, but we'll figure that out. And then more of these as well. Uh, and then we have some of these tokens, which are all bunching out quite well too, so that's good. And then more tokens and counters. So that's there. Overall, cardboard quality is decent uh, without being exceptional. But uh, again, it's not an expensive game. It's not a flashy Kickstarter title. So I'm personally very happy with uh, how all of those look like. Now, this, I assume, is probably the main game board. And as you can see, it's uh, sort of like a widescreen format. It's not a full-size board uh, and uh, folds out. Almost looks like you have a table of sorts over here, and then you have these different things where I don't know if you're doing actions or selecting benefits or whatever it is, uh, you can do that there. It's single sided, uh, and you do have a point track going around. And let's see if this ends at 90, and it does. You have 85 here, then you have zero over there, so that's 90. Uh, so the 90 token that we saw was actually for the point track, so it goes up to 90, and then you need to uh, pick up one of those tokens and continue counting from then onwards. Right, now we have four of these game boards, uh, player boards rather, and these are recessed or dual there. Uh, and that's a very nice touch because you have these things where you can put down the tokens and they will hold. This is also, I guess, where you get to put down your civilization card, which we had a look at earlier. So let's maybe bring one of these out and see how this would have worked. So here we have Argos. And as you can see, it fits in quite nicely. This is, uh, it's a very nice touch. I, I like that quite a bit. Uh, yeah. And again, uh, gives you sort of like the game turn. Uh, the sequence that you're basically going through. Progress, you have it over here. So looks like something that's pretty functional. Again, not heavy on artwork in terms of the game board or the player board. But uh, functionally, they seem to be pretty, they seem like they're going to be functionally very strong. So... I'm hopeful that that will be the case. So we'll we'll see how that works out. And then of course we have the other player boards in the other colors. So that's there. Now, looks like we get a pretty, hopefully a very useful insert. Uh, it does seem sturdy. So that's nice. Uh, we got a bunch of these wooden tokens. Let's crack into it and see what's happening here. So we don't need this, that goes off to the side. And then we get these tokens over here. I'm not going to go through all of these in the interest of time, but put in bits, Eurogame. Uh, we've been there. Now we get a bunch of dice, and uh, these are definitely on the smaller end. Let's see. Let's try and see if we can get a few of these out to have a look at. And yeah, so. Uh, they seem to be decent quality uh, overall. Uh, the black one isn't, but the others seem translucent. Uh, and I'm pretty happy with this. I think they're going to be fine uh, in terms of rolling. They're nothing flashy or anything, but in terms of the choice of colors, they're, they're pretty good. I think they might correspond to the play colors. Again, they seem to match up to this, right? Yeah, I think it might be player specific. Uh, so there we go. So we have the dice over there. And then we have a bunch of cards. So we have these small set of cards and then we have these larger ones so let's maybe start with this and see what's happening here these look uh tarot sized i think uh, and on the back end yeah they're pretty all pretty much the same uh thickness is all right not too bad i do wish that this was uh maybe a little thicker stock but uh uh, if I can sleeve these and get it to fit inside, it's not going to be much of an issue. But as you can see, it is a snug fit. So I'm not really sure if uh, you get one of those uh, premium thick sleeves. It's gonna. I'm, I'm not sure if it's going to fit in that well. So we'll see how that goes. But so you have these uh, different cards. Again, just by the fact that these are tarot sized makes you feel like they're more prominent in some way. Uh, and again, I don't know what way that might be without going through the rules myself. But... Uh, that's there. Artwork on these is not bad. Right? These are decent. I think. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm happy with it. Again, uh, I think artwork is on these at least uh, pretty decent. And then of course we have the last set of cards over here. So let's see what's happening with these guys. Uh, and the back are all consistent. These these look like these are standard sized cards. Uh, yeah, stock is pretty much the same. Uh, and uh, yeah, artbook on this is quite good. In fact, I think artbook on these might be better than uh, those cards that we had a look at. They seem to have more detail uh, pop out. And they're roughly, the artbook is roughly the same size, even though the card is much bigger, obviously. Uh, so it's not that the size is a factor in terms of clarity, but yeah. Yeah, as you can see, good level of detail. Very good level of detail. I'm I'm very happy with how these look. And again, the artwork all seem to be unique. Or at least as far as I can make out, there might be duplication. Uh, it's hard to tell at just a quick glance, but overall, very happy with what I've seen in this so far. Uh, and I think that's pretty much everything that comes in the box for it. Insert, as I've mentioned, seems pretty sturdy. I just need to figure out what goes in where, but it's there should you need it. So that's good. And that's uh, the unboxing for Cora and everything that comes in the box. Overall, very happy with the production on this and definitely looking forward to trying it out myself. Uh, I will have a tutorial for this out pretty soon, uh, hopefully by the end of next week-ish. Uh, so if you're interested in learning how this game plays, check out the link down below in a couple of weeks' time, and it should be there, uh, up and live. Uh, and I also have other tutorials and unboxings and reviews going out. So if you're into board gaming and you want some of those content, uh, do subscribe to the channel. There's more of the good stuff coming up pretty soon. In the meanwhile, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.